Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to sign out from your App Store right here on your phone. So let's just open up App Store. In your App Store, you're going to see on the top right hand corner, there's going to be a circle. It might be a picture, it might be a letter, it could be anything there. Just tap on that picture, top right hand side. Once you open that up, you will see this. And all you guys have to do is scroll all the way down. Just keep scrolling, keep scrolling until you guys see sign out on the bottom left hand side. So on the bottom left hand side, you will see sign out. Just tap on sign out and that's it. Right now, if you guys want to sign back in into another account, for example, just scroll all the way up until you see Apple ID and Apple password. So it's going to ask you for both. So at this point, I can tap right there and just type in a new Apple ID and another password. Now, let's say you don't and I just get out of this. Did I lose any of my apps? No, they're all still right here and I can still access all of them. What happens if I sign in to another Apple ID right now? Well, all these apps that are have already been downloaded with the other Apple ID will stay. However, if I want to update them or anything like that, they're still logged into my other account. So that means I still have to log into my other account in order to update these. So technically, I would have to delete all of these apps and download them again with the other ID I'm using, if that's the reason why you're doing this. Anyways, right now what I'm going to do is go back into my App Store. I'm going to tap on that picture again, and I'm going to sign in. So again, once you put in your password, just go ahead, tap on sign in on the bottom left hand side. It might drag you to another page where it's going to ask you again for your password. Once you put that in, you're signed in, you're good to go. So I'm just going to hit undone, and that's it. However, I want to let you know that this isn't the only way that you guys can do this. And if you just got this phone from somebody else and you want to make it 100% yours, this is not the way to do it. The proper way to do this is actually to restore your phone and activate it with your own Apple ID. That way you get rid of the other Apple ID 100%. So if you want to do that, just go right into your settings. Scroll down a little bit until you see general. So under general, again, if we scroll all the way down, we're going to see our second last option where it says reset, tap on reset. And from here, your second option will say erase all content in settings. So what will this do? It's going to erase the app ID. It's going to erase all apps, all information within the phone. So basically, once we do that, we're going to have to set it up ourselves like brand new. So all the default apps that come in your phone, yes, those will be downloaded. But however, like Facebook and uh, Twitter, those apps that don't come pre-downloaded, you're gonna have to download those within the App Store using your own app ID. The good thing about doing this is that when you activate the phone again with your own password and everything, your own app ID, then the phone itself will become 100% yours. And that way, if you lose your phone or anything like that, you can iCloud lock it, you can track it, you can blacklist it, because it's under your name. However, if you don't do this, then it's never gonna be under your own name. And whatever other person activated this phone, they could potentially do that. They could blacklist it. They could maybe lose their other phone. Maybe if they sold you their phone, maybe they lost their other phone and they just iCloud lock everything within their Apple ID. And that way your phone could also be in there. So you do have to be aware of that. So even if it's not stolen or anything like that, the other person could down the line blacklist their Apple ID or anything like that. And that way you would get in trouble as well. So this is something that you should do. So again, that's the second option. Just tap there and then just tap in continue. But anyways, this video is not about how to restore your phone. It was just about the App Store. Um, I highly suggest restoring it if this is a phone that you guys got from somebody else. And I do have a separate video showing you guys all the steps that you guys have to go through, which isn't much really. It's just basically what I just showed you right now. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.